We're visiting with Dr. Robert Abel, Jr., an eye specialist, and one of the things we'd like to know is what can we do to keep our eyes healthy? Well, it's very simple, Raina. First of all, you need to protect yourself from sunlight. We're out there, our leisure time's out there, we're on the beach, good sunglasses that block UVA, UVB, and possibly even blue light. Mm -hmm. Second of all, you want to look at your dietary choices. You want to avoid saturated fats and trans fats and have the long chain omega-3 fats in your diet. You want to have the green leafies. You want to have the colorful foods and plants because they have the carotenoids and other important ingredients in it. You don't want to drink too much. Mm. One cup of coffee is excellent for your liver, but too much coffee dehydrates you. Artificial sweeteners are very irritating to the eye, especially in dry eyes and glaucoma. Mm. But irritating things like artificial colors, sweeteners, you don't think about, they catch up with you. Smoking is very harmful to eyes and have been featured in many studies. That smoking affects the health of the eye. Stopping the smoke is important for so many ways in your lifestyle. Stress in general is important to counteract. The best way to stop stress is take a breath. <laughs> Stimulate okay. the parasympathetics and not the energetic sympathetics. Mm -hmm. So good nutrition, water, exercise, move that heart, move the fluids in the eye, drain the lymphatics from the head and neck, good sunglasses, good outlook, and breathe well. Mm -hmm. So you've talked about some of the things that are really harmful, too, like cigarette smoke, uh, over-indulging in, in alcohol. Lack of exercise, mm -hmm. too much fast food, which is loaded with those kind of saturated fats to preserve the food. But major companies are now coming into having better nutrients. The important things for night vision are vitamin A, which mm -hmm. goes to the rods, bilberry, which affects night vision and the rods, which are the peripheral things, lutein, which protects the retina and decreases glare, omega-3 fatty acids, which are much of the structure of your retinal receptors, and zinc, which release vitamin A and probably lutein from the liver. But lutein, again, is so important mm -hmm. because it's that sprinkling of pepper, that, pow that yellow pepper powder mm -hmm. that protects your eye against all of the unnecessary radiation that's coming in. We need light. We need to see. That's how we get our connection to the world, but we don't need damage. And that's where the lutein is the added factor. So all of these things work as a total package. And if people don't think vitamins don't work, it's very interesting to take a B vitamin and notice in 20 minutes your urine's yellow. Mm -hmm. So the body will take what it needs and will excrete very often what it doesn't need and will help make decisions. But you've got to make the decision what you put in your mouth and what you do with your time. Okay, thank you, Dr. Abel. You're welcome, Raina.